Hi guys, Scott Hutter here and my name is Anil Deshpande. In the previous video about notification and notification navigation, we have seen that you basically have an activity and on click of the trigger notification button, you are getting a notification and then on click of the notification, you are navigated to another activity, which is notification details activity. And now if you hit back button here, the activity that had got triggered because of the click on the notification will get closed and you don't have any previous activity on the task. You will basically go to the home screen. Well, this is called as special activity navigation. Now the question is why is it called special activity navigation? Let's assume that you have a notification about a cricket match that is going on. You see the notification and you click on that. You basically trigger an activity containing some picture about that particular notification and then even uh, some article containing some more information. And after that, there is no point in maintaining that particular activity if the user clicks back after reading this particular article. The user will click back and you want to close the activity. So this particular activity which got triggered on click of the notification is only meant to be shown when the user clicks on the notification. That screen is never meant to be part of the overall navigation of the application. That is why that activity is a special activity only meant for notification based navigation. And that is why it is called as a special activity navigation. And we have actually already implemented it. You had used certain flag settings so that the task gets cleared. But sometimes, however, you may actually want to go back to the previous activity. Well, this is very easy to do. If you go back to the code, you can observe that I have used this set flags, flag activity new task and flag activity clear task. All I need to do is just remove this and run it. And now if I trigger the notification and click here and click back, you will observe that the previous activity got shown. So this is pretty easy to achieve. So let's undo the changes. But however, sometimes the navigation might not be that obvious. What do I mean by that is, there might be a scenario where due to notification, you basically trigger a activity and then on click of the back button, from the activity which got triggered due to notification, you go back to some intermediate activity. And then probably if you close the intermediate screen, you may actually go back to the home screen. Well, this may sound very counterintuitive, but this is exactly what happens when you are using Gmail. When you get a notification about a mail, you click on that particular notification, you are immediately navigated to a screen which shows the actual mail. And then when you hit back, you will not be directly going back to the home screen. You will actually be going back to inbox of your Gmail as if you had actually come to read this particular mail from opening Gmail application and then clicking on the mail that you see in the inbox. But that is not the case. You had actually come to mail screen directly from the notification. And then if you hit on back, you are being navigated to another screen, basically giving an impression that as if you had navigated to this screen through an application, not through a notification. And now probably if you hit another back button, you will go back to home screen. So to put it in a nutshell, what actually you have to do is the activity task with the back activity entries need to be created to create an impression that the user had come through an app but not a notification. And this is called as normal activity navigation. Creating a normal activity navigation is little more trickier than creating a special activity navigation. Even though it says it is normal activity navigation, the implementation is not normal at all. It requires one or two trick up your sleeve. How to actually implement it, we will see it in the next video. That brings us to the end of this particular video. Don't forget to like, comment, share the video and subscribe to the channel. Take care. Bye.